Hello everyone, our uh, latest newsletter came out today. We have a monthly email newsletter. It's free, of course, like everything else at nutritionfacts.org. If you missed it, um, we've got a whole bunch of new uh, swag, a bunch of new t-shirt designs. Um, we just had our board meeting today, and you know, last quarter, we sold $12,000 worth of, worth of this kind of merchandise, like shirts and aprons and hats and stuff. That's, that's amazing to me. Um, and of course, all that money uh, goes, you know, to Nutrition Facts to continue the, uh, the great work that we do um, at our 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, and so, so we're like, oh my God, people love it. Let's put up a bunch. So we got these new Daily Dozen shirts, um, our um, best-selling shirt in Spanish as well. Um, so check out the new designs. Um, and uh, so if you're not uh, subscribed to the newsletter, uh, just to go to nutritionfacts.org, click subscribe. Um, and the new t-shirts and stuff are at drgregor.org. Um, also in the newsletter, um, I had a, a little cautionary note about um, overeating certain types of greens. You know, just like that, um, uh, you know that video about there was too much lead in uh, um, tea imported from China for use in matcha or a smoothie? Um, you know, I told, you know, I had a video where I'm putting tea leaves in my smoothie, which is a fantastic idea, but of course not so fantastic if it's contaminated with lead. Um, so if you're going to use, uh, you know, tea in a smoothie, you want to get like Japanese green tea, etc. Um, but of course, I came across that research, you know, weeks before it actually went online, um, or even months, um, because, you know, uh, all the research still had to do, and it has to be scripted, and the video design team has to come up with video. But I put it out on social media saying, look, Caution if you're gonna, you know, if you're pregnant, blah blah blah, and told people. Um, uh, and so, same thing with this um, uh, for people who are doing the right thing and eating cups of greens a day, as we all should, dark green leafy vegetables. Um, I encourage people to stick to low oxalate uh, dark green leafy, so that's basically all greens with the exception of beet green, Swiss chard, and spinach. All those three greens are fantastic greens. I eat all those greens. Um, uh, and I enjoy all those greens, but if you're eating cups a day, um, then I would encourage people to, you know, uh, go with kale and collards and arugula and mustard greens, all these other wonderful greens out there, uh, bok choy. Um, and the concern is with kidney stones. Um, the, the video, probably a series of videos will come up about it. Um, and so you can look at all the detail and click on the links and read all the PDFs yourself and, uh, make up your own mind, but I just want to give that heads up. That's in the newsletter as well. Um, welcomed our new digital outreach manager. Yet another new hire at NutritionFacts.org. Super excited that Lauren's on board. Uh, talk about um, uh, how not to die being used as a textbook in medical school, um, which we're so excited about. And an important survey for doctors for ACLM, the American College of Lifestyle and Medicine. Pretty pleased if you are a physician. Um, MD or DO in private practice, please uh, fill out the survey. Um, and uh, that's uh, that was pretty much the juicy stuff of the newsletter. I um, uh, hope everyone has a fantastic month.